one, uh, I have not done a video in forever, I'm sorry. I've been moving and uh, I didn't have my own like space really, I was at like a temporary house with some family. Um, but now I'm completely moved in, this is my new game room. Um, I'll do a tour eventually, I posted some photos in Gaming Central if you want to see those, but um, this is going to be every game I've beaten in 2015. I did one last year and it got decent, it got decent views and stuff, so um, basically, I probably said this in the last one but that was a year ago. Basically, every time I beat a game since 2009-ish, I've been documenting it and telling like how long it took me and uh, the date and all that stuff. I don't know why I'm a nerd. Um, that was what that was. I don't know why, comma I'm a nerd. Not I don't know why I am a nerd. But uh, sorry, Dave. I'm gonna move your message really quick. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna go through the ones that say 15. I'm just gonna tell what I think about them and tell you I beat them. Um, the first one here is. Wild 9 on PS1. Thought I had a burp, didn't come. <coughs> there it is. Whew! Okay. Uh, this was one of the Game of the Months. If you have not done a Game of the Month with us, get in touch with me, Kevin. Kevin Thomas. That's your last name. Yeah, Console Kev. Uh, Jorge, aka George. Uh, G Unit Kalima is his name on YouTube. Or uh, Mark. MT Shark 7, we're the ones that primarily do the game of the month. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, Wild 9 was one of them. Um, it's for PS1. I don't have how long it took me to beat it, but I did beat it at 3.33 p.m. Um, it's a side-scrolling platformer. It was very hard. I don't... I can't remember exactly why it was hard. I think you don't get a lot of lives, and you don't get a lot of health. Because I remember I saved at one point... And, like, if I got hit once, I died, like, from that point on. So I just kept resetting my game instead of clicking continue, because if you do continue, I'm pretty sure you go back to the first of the, either the world or the level. Anyway, it's a really hard side-scrolling game. It's, uh, it was pretty fun, though. I liked it. Mm, looking for more 2015s. I beat Kirby Triple Deluxe. That was back in February. Um, this is the first Kirby game I've ever beaten. Uh, it was. I thought it was really good though. Kind of easy at points, and uh, I was kind of complaining about how easy it was until I got to. I think it may have been the final boss. It took me like a million tries to, to beat it. But if you haven't beaten a Kirby game, pretty much your little pink fellow look kind of like Jigglypuff, little pink round fellow. And you walk around, you suck up enemies, and you can take their power and use their power against other enemies and stuff. Um, it's a very fun game though. Try it out. Uh, I beat Lunar Silver Star Harmony back in February as well. Uh, that is a RPG. It is a remake of the Sega CD and PS1 Lunar game. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Lunar, Lunar, however you say it. Um, it took me a long time to beat. Like, I'm talking years because I kept putting it down and bringing it back. But it was really fun. It's a very traditional, turn-based, uh, very, very good art, very, very good music. Like, I love the music in that game. Um, yeah, try it out. There's a Lunar 2 that's on PS1 and Sega CD as well, I think. But it never came to PSP. This was a PSP game. Um, the Lunar games, though, besides the PSP one, the PSP one might be rare, too. But they're, like, hard to find and they're expensive. Um, the next game here is... I'm into the PS3 stuff and I've beaten a ton of PS3 games. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. That is not PS3. That is PS4. I put that in the wrong place. Uh, but Assassin's Creed Unity, when I beat it back in July. Okay, yeah, I know you don't care when I beat them, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Um, sorry. Sorry, Scotty. I'm going to have to move your message real quick. Um, Unity, though, uh, it got really bad. It got a really bad rap when it first came out because it was very, very buggy. Scotty again. When you message me, you get a free shout-out, I guess. Um, it was very, very buggy and glitchy, and there were a lot of like headless people running around on the game and stuff and it like would crash all the time and I played it really late though like a year later at least and um it was all patched by that time so the game ran perfectly smooth for me it probably runs perfectly smooth now so don't take that into account if you're going to play it and if you like Assassin's Creed because it was actually a really good game uh it's very fun uh Arno I'm pretty sure it's Unity's character He's actually my fiance's favorite Assassin's Creed character now. 
Um, mine is still Ezio. Always will be. Um, then probably Edward, but I like Arno. Arno's a good character. Um, Arkham Knight is also on my PS3 section. Why? Oh, I see. I'm on Word, and it's got two pages per page. I'm going to go back up into the PS3 stuff. Or, I'm on... Wait, where am I? I went through those... I think it goes this way. Um... I beat a 360 game. I beat Splinter Cell Conviction. Um, not the best Splinter Cell game because they decided to go more towards the action, air, action side of the game. So there's a lot of like firefights with just guns blazing and like cover fire shooting and stuff. And I'm more into the sneak around, shoot some lights out, you know, maybe take one guy out and hide him somewhere type of stealth games. I hear they went back to it with Blacklist, but I need to play that one. But, uh, Conviction, it was fun. I still liked it. Just, as a Splinter Cell game, eh, eh. I beat that one 114.15, by the way. And then on January 11th of 15, I beat Rise, Son of Rome. That's the only Xbox One game I've beaten so far. That tells you how much I've played my Xbox One. I still like it, but anyways. Uh, Rise got a really bad rap when it came out. It was a launch title for the Xbox One. Um... You're in Rome, obviously, son of Rome. Uh, you play as like a gladiator type guy, or a... Uh, I'm not glad. Yeah, I guess you are. Um, has a lot of like shield, like bashing, like, you know, and spears and swords and stuff. Uh, I thought it was a really fun game, actually. It got way too bad of a rap. I don't know if I'd want to pay $60 for it, but at this point, you might as well check it out because it's really cheap. And it's uh, it is definitely worth the price it is now. The graphics are great, um, decent story, it was interesting. I liked it though, so go try it if you have an Xbox One. Um, I beat a Wii game on 8.23.15, Super Mario Galaxy. Um, I love Mario games, but I haven't beaten a lot of them, surprisingly. I decided I was going to beat Galaxy, and uh, I did. Great game. I would prefer no motion controls, but... Um, this game reminds me a lot of Mario 64. Like, the music's the same, uh, not exactly the same, but there's a lot of the same songs. The controls are, like, mirrored almost, aside from having to swing and shoot to get the little crystals and stuff. But if you know the, the Mario 64 controls, you will step right into this game and be perfect. All the flips are, are the same, like the long jumping, the wall jumping, everything. Uh, great game, though. Um, DS... I did not beat any DS games. Uh, 3DS. I did Triple Deluxe already. I did Lunar already. <coughs> PS3. Alright, I'm good now. I had to beat at least one PS3 game. Uh, I beat Half-Life 2 on 117.15. Uh, this game is a classic. Everyone loves this game. Uh, it's a first-person shooter made by Valve. Um, what, do you, what is your name in that game? Doc something? I can't remember. Uh, it has a pretty cool story. Um, your basic first-person shooter controls and stuff. The big thing on this game that I really liked, which you might not even understand it when I tell you, is the feeling of being alone in this game. Um, the people who play it know what I'm talking about. If you don't, haven't played it, you won't know what I'm talking about. Like, you are alone almost constantly in this game, and there's some creepy parts, like, there's this, the main villain, what's his name? Something about a coat? I don't remember, it was like in last January, it was like a year ago, so, uh, almost a year ago, exactly, a few days ago. Um, he like shows up randomly, and uh, I didn't know who he was at first, so I'm thinking I'm seeing a ghost this whole time, like in the game, but I ended up looking it up, and you can look at videos that shows every single sighting of his... But, uh, he's like, I don't know what he is, actually. I'm pretty sure he's the main boss. Not main boss, like, the main villain of the game. Um, anyways, you're alone a lot in this game, and I like that. It was creepy. It was, like, it's just you and your guns and your ammo and you're sneaking around. And, I don't know. You have to play it. Uh, very cool game, though. Uh, on 3, 5, 15, I beat Dishonored. Um, Dishonored is... A stealth type of game. If you played any of the Thief games, it's kind of like that. 
Except you have, like, powers, too. I don't know. Do you have powers in Thief? I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is my fiance's favorite game of all time. She platinumed it, which is crazy because some of the trophies seem hard. But uh, I pretty much speed ran this game because I watched her play through it like five times, so I knew exactly what to do. And a few friends and I wanted to all play the game at the same time, so we did. Um, pretty much you're an assassin, and you are trying to track down someone's daughter. Your name is Corvo which is a cool name, it's almost like mine. Um, and then there's like a plague going around in the city, and like, so there's all these like, they're pretty much like zombies, but they're sick people. And they, uh, they'll attack you and stuff. The more people you kill, the more like chaos you bring, the more of those infected people will show up, and the opposite, like the streets will be clear of them if you were sneaking through without killing anyone. But anyways, it's a good game. It's very dark. Uh, on 4, 16, 15, I beat Duke Nukem Forever. This game got a lot of hate. And I, I've played a few games that got a lot of hate, it seems. But I actually really enjoyed this game. I'm Maybe maybe it got hate from people who were waiting so long for it to come out because it had a, like a six-year development span or something, like some really long, absurd number for it to be as bad as it is. Check out my shirt. Anyways, um... I actually really liked it. It's a first-person shooter, obviously. It's very funny. A lot of funny lines and stuff. Um, my fiance was watching me play like the first of it, and she saw me pick up a turd out of the toilet and throw it at somebody, and she was like, "What the fuck?" You know. Anyways, it's really funny. Um, I'm probably gonna try to go back and platinum that eventually. Uh, the next one, five, fourteen, fifteen, Transformers: War for Cybertron. I love Transformers. Anything Transformers, I love it. Um, this is a very good, um, like, homage, did I say that word right, to the original Transformers. Uh, they keep all of their personalities intact and everything, and you get to play as, like, different ones. You get to pick which one you want at the start of each mission. And uh, you can transform whenever you want. You're, like, on Cybertron, which is the Transformers world. Um, it, when, you're, when you're in your robot form, it turns into, like, a third-person shooter, so third-person over-the-shoulder shooter. Uh, great game, great story. I, I love it. I can't wait to play Fall of Cybertron. Um, Alright, and the next one is Deadly Premonition. Another game that gets a lot of hate. Uh, beat this on 10 4 15. It took me 17 hours, 5 minutes, 57 seconds. That's the first one with a, with a uh, time on it. Anyways, uh, this was one of our game of the months. It was made by a very, very small team, as far as I know. Um, it's like a, it reminds me of like a B-movie horror, I did a whole video on this game, but it's like a, a horror B-movie, meaning like low budget, um, like so bad that it's humorous type of thing, and uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously, it's kind of funny actually at times, and the main character is very, very interesting, he has like split personality, he's always talking to himself, um, you have to like be a detective and find out who the murderer is, and uh, it's very interesting. You should play it. Um, the controls are bad at times. Um, it gets kind of repetitive at times. This is the type of game that you will either like a lot or you'll hate it. And I can see why people hate it, but myself I appreciate it because I'm also like, I'm not there yet, but I'm trying to learn coding to, to like make a game myself with some friends. And so when I see a game like this made by a small team, I find appreciation in it, like I see everything they did and everything they tried to do, and I'm actually impressed instead of being like, ugh, this sucks, you know? So uh, you just have to look at it right if you want to enjoy it. If you just go into it thinking it's like a triple-A title, you're going to be disappointed. But anyway, it's a good game. Um, now, Batman Arkham Knight. This game I have really mixed feelings about, because I love all the Arkham games. Knight... It's not bad. It's really fun, actually. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's just... They didn't do very many things differently, I guess. Um, I don't know. It's it's really weird. I have a really weird thought about this game. Because, like, I thought it was fun. But it didn't change enough for me to think it was amazing. Like, it's pretty much like you're playing one of the other ones. Which is fine, because that's a good a good way to put a game together, you know. I just wanted something more. I mean, you can use the Batmobile, which is very cool. 
and uh, all the characters are cool, the story is great. I can't complain. The only real main complaint I have about it is you have to get all 100 of these r ridiculous Riddler trophies. I keep burping, guys, sorry. Um, just to get the main ending, which is really annoying. Like, who has time to do that? My fiance did, but I don't. Anyways, I'm gonna pay her to do it for me. Um, yeah, you have to you have to get all these Riddler trophies, which is pretty much going around the whole city and solving all these puzzles, a hundred of them, just to get the last ending, which I, I don't really like, but, oh well, it's part of the game. Um, the next one here, I put Rocket League down because I did beat the season and win the championship, and I also um, platinumed it. Rocket League is my game of the year last year. Rocket League is amazing. Like, if you have not played Rocket League, what are you doing? Um, it's soccer with race cars. That does not sound fun at all, but I promise you, you will have fun. You're driving around a car, drive up the walls, hit balls under the goal and stuff. It gets really cool. Um, is that is that all I beat last year? Dang. Shows you how busy I was last year. I didn't beat very many. Um, anyways, what all have you beaten? Um, if you do a video response to this or something, let me know. I'll go watch it. Uh, wait, I beat one more. I did not write it down yet. Um, I beat Gone Home. If you've not played Gone Home, play it. It's set in the 90s. Uh, pretty much you're a girl named Katie. You come home to an empty house, which used to be your family's house, because I think she went away for, like brigade or something, um, some military thing or something, um, so she was like in France, I want to say, um, but you come home and everyone's gone, you have no idea where everyone's at, and pretty much the whole game is you searching this huge creepy house, um, and you're like reading post-it notes, you're reading letters, you're listening to voicemails on the phone, and you find out what happened to your dad, your mom, and your sister. And uh, it's a very, very interesting, very cool to explore that house. There's, like, secret passages and stuff. Um, I just rebought it on PSN. I'm going to try to get all the trophies for it because I played it on Steam. It just recently came to Xbox One and PS4, though, so if you only have those, get it and play it. It's only, like, a two-hour-long game, maybe two or three, but it's very well worth it. I liked it a lot. But uh, that is it, and uh, if you like this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. See you later.